Greetings, welcome to the Prime Directive. I'm your host, Jeff Ocone. My co-host, as always, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello. So, Discovery, Season 3, Episode 3, mm-hmm. directed by Freaks. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You know, I learned from Picard that I can love Freaks and know that he didn't write this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he didn't write that Picard episode. Yeah. And I'm still happy about that episode because I'm sure he had a lot of fun. Oh, I, yes, yes. <laughs> I think that's what we said in our review is I feel like I'm watching Frakes and Picard just dick around. Yeah. As I was telling you, Mr. Veep, Veep, you will not see many more like her. But one last thing. I need to see Maddox. Oh, we got Burnham recapping in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, shit exploding. Her short hair is getting longer. It was a tiny recap. What did you think? Um, that is sort of what I said I wanted. Uh, just to, we got it a little bit at the start, you know, sort of what's been going on, some things that she's learned. Um, I liked Freeze framing on the, all those ships and trying to figure out what they were. There was anything really recognizable. Um, some things sort of evoked other stuff from Star Trek, but I, I couldn't really point at anything and say, "Oh, that's this." Yeah. Well, I mean, you had the Enterprise on there. Kind the of. cells, the back, the saucer, the hall. Yeah. You had the Starfleet vessel look. Yeah, I did like the just the circle ones. I don't know what that was. I did not like the circle ones. I was, just like, I was just like, hey, hey, uh, guys, we need to come up with some more ships. Throw a couple of donuts on there. Yeah, <laughs> circles. Yeah. yeah, she drank a beer, Chris. That was what I was looking for. But mm-hmm. I was looking for like a whole episode. Her book just shooting the shit, getting mm-hmm. drunk, mm-hmm. telling us about the universe, not just yep. a, a two minute recap of right after a recap. I'm just like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do want more. I want to know more about what the hell's going on around here. This episode, I believe my notes complain about a lot of, uh... It was so long, Chris. <laughs> it's so long. This happened. I'm not the same person because of a year. Try 2020. Mm. That's a tough year. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah, you think your year was bad. You got to hang out with a cat and book, just running around having fun. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but, like, jump 900 years in the future, I'd be pretty fascinated by all the fucking shit you could learn. Mm-hmm. Shall I go? Ah, Commander Burnham, I believe we are due for a conversation, perhaps. Oh, no, 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 there's no need. It's you. She talks to Saru, and she's all like, I just don't fit in, I don't want to be your first officer, and I'm like, right now, I'm like, yeah, give it to the end of the season. Yeah. I was wrong, Chris, 40 minutes later. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of thought Saru already was the captain, so I, I, wasn't he? Um, I don't know what that whole scene, big scene was. That scene was to again um, show us the superiority of Michael Burnham. Be like, you take the chair. Mm-hmm. I'm giving this to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll save the day at the end of the episode too. Yeah. Next episode will toast me. <laughs> yes. You reminded us who we are to each other. I thought we had given up Spore Jump, Chris. No. But here we are, Spore Jumping again. I Didn't it like kill Stamets? We don't give up Spore Didn't Jumps. Didn't it? No, Wasn't there like this whole tear to the universe? He is the fine now. Did, that's I where think, we Didn't they make peace with those things? Oh, did they? I thought they were like, stop doing it because you're killing us and we'll give you a culprit who's not human but you'll trust him and he'll turn on you when you do it again. <laughs> think we made peace with them? <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't go back, Chris. I can't go back and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get an Admiral Central, mm-hmm. Sentinel, uh, join, us to, uh, join us on Earth, guys, 12 years ago, mm-hmm. during this whole United Earth Force thing, mm-hmm. which is a very Babylon 5 title. Yeah. But uh, he's not there no more, Chris. No. Just a 16-year-old girl. And United Earth is kind of dumb. Yeah. They're kind of dumb. Yeah, but, you know, so are their enemies. <laughs> so are their enemies. Both kind of dumb. Um, I think we need a little bit more about how, why they couldn't contact each other. Yeah. Like, Discovery was able to contact them with, like, 900-year-old tech. So why, why can't Titan and Earth talk to each other? You know, a view screen is so quaint, Chris. So yeah. quaint. Like... Uh, I get it. You're from the future, but you're so you're so powerful from the future. You can't beam back. <laughs> I don't know, man. You brought me back. Is it weird to say I knew you would? No. Because you'd done the same thing. Yeah. So they uh, they put all the dilithium in a book ship. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, you know, the dilithium vault was kind of cool. Yeah. I was imagining, um, you know, what book would think of all that just untold wealth. I'm yeah. sort of I'm sort of reminded of Dune and how the the Fremen react to water and that sort of thing. <laughs> like it's, 
Well, I mean, they had the primitive the ones that had all that water. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just thought it was weird that it was red. I thought it was blue. <laughs> it was just the light. Yeah, yeah. it's possible. But yeah, they put it all on the ship. That makes everybody uneasy. Because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, we barely know this guy. Be like, well, just if you leave. <laughs> if you wait like 15 minutes and saw him with the shirt off, you'd trust him. Yeah, you'd trust him. Yeah, they uh, they have to get in the uniform because, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not in uniform, they're not going to believe you're part of Starfleet. I guess. <laughs> Why not? Burnham's been out of uniform this whole goddamn episode. Yeah. So was Saru for half of it. Yeah, he's just like, this is what I wear now. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I, it's chill. These are my command robes. Yeah. Don't you just have to be an admiral? Why, why is she here? Why is Saru letting her, like, if they're going to pretend to be this Starfleet ship, why is she allowed to pretend to be in charge? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Even Burnham's just like, hey, like, I'm surprised you're still here. Yeah. And everybody is. Your character does not make sense here. Other than to be in Book of Board and be like, so, you banging? No, no, we're just friends. Sure you are. Sure, buddy. I totally did get like virgin cat lady vibes at the oh, end though. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, book, come on, man. And we got the two vessels. We never got to really see them. No. And then uh, even Ren's ship were just kind of these little bully lights. Mm -hmm. um, he had a cool helmet though. Yeah, his helmet was very menacing, mm -hmm. which was the point. Mm -hmm. If you don't surrender your Dalithium, my people can still take it by force. My life is not that important. <laughs> They, they charge it uh, randomly. They just decide, let's go to your ship. Oh, we're going to leave now and head towards the enemy mm -hmm. and try to trick him into lowering his shields and then bring him back. How did he get back? I didn't see that. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Yeah, that was that was a sort of light on the plan there. Um, not 100% sure what went down. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, I will say this was a very classic, you know, Star Trek plot where we show up at the planet of the week and there's two groups and they're fighting each other, but we were going to get them to work together and listen to each other. But it was Earth this time. Wow, I, what a I, twist. I really enjoyed uh, Saru and Vernon talking to these adult children about how to share. Yeah. yeah. And they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, you, you didn't talk to the ship before you blew it up and that they were the people from Titan. Okay. And nobody tried to, like, message anybody about anything exactly mm -hmm. subspace still works fine guys we have a problem with dilithium i also have a big issue with the fact that like we saw there were two ships um flying around they're like oh i've got two starfleet vessels here why didn't burnham go talk to them <laughs> like go be like hey starfleet vessel like i want to come on board so everybody can see how really cool you are now um, mm -hmm. and like, hey, what's going on with Starfleet? They randomly just, we'll go to Earth instead. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she never, she never did anything with those Starfleet vessels that you said you located in season one. That's weird. Yeah. I'd think we would have done that. I Where's think, my information? I think that would have been the first thing I would have done. Be like, hey, let's go find Starfleet, see if they're going to shoot us on sight. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, cool, you're still Starfleet. Neat. Um, I am trying to find people and... Maybe they have some, yeah, maybe they have some info. Yeah. Maybe they know things. Maybe they're Starfleet. Maybe they're and they Starfleet. have Starfleet ships. I do want to see, like, we've established there are Starfleet ships, so I really want to see what they look like and do. Yeah. Are they going to be just barely functional garbage? Are, they, are they going to be are actually they gonna good? want Discovery to be a part of their team anymore? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, what are, what is their mission now? Like... Are they building a tiny federation? Can people only go from sector to sector? Like, it sounds like they're, you're in a system, you're stuck there because there's not di enough dilithium to leave that system. Yeah. Unless you can support job. Why? Why support job? Hey, Chris. I got questions, but you know, I did see Nielsen in the chair and I'm like, that counts. She is first officer. Cause I'm like, if Saru gets hurt right now, Michael said no. So she can't just jump in the chair. There has to be a planned successor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what about Nan? Uh, she's pretty high up there. You know, this was the limitation to this episode. Freaks was not given Nan. Had he had her, I think this episode would have been like way okay. better. Okay. Turn that uh, Trill girl. You know, mm -hmm. she's the admiral, and uh, she's doing all this sneaky shit. Like, oh, this is this. That's this why is that. she's smart. Because yeah. she's like six hundred years old. Yeah, kinda. 
Um, I kind of got she was a drill from like the trailer that we saw four months ago. Okay. She was like in trill caves and I kind of like, you know, just saw it all there and they showed us other trills around her. So mm -hmm. that's going to be a storyline going forward. Mm -hmm. But she's a human, Chris. How old are you? 17? 16. Would you please remove your 16-year-old fingers from my life's work? What did I just say? This is an interface of some kind. Okay, we get it. You're smart. Everybody here is smart. They should put her out the airlock. Rather than become friends with her statements, just put her out the airlock. Yeah, statements was super forward with just like, here's all our secrets. Yes. We're from the space past and we jump around with mushrooms. But but how do you do this? I'm not going to tell you that until you tell me what you're up to. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I mean, that. I think that's kind of been a theme this season has been trust. Yeah. And trust begets more trust. Like, Burnham just kept trusting Book until eventually it worked out for her. Yeah, and Saru uh, was forced to trust Burnham, even though he kind of did. Yeah. He's like, what's going on, Georgie? She's like, immovable object. When has never backed away before? Perhaps they met an unstoppable force. Tell your people to stand down. Not until I'm certain that... Special delivery. Syntha Hall, Chris. Syntha Hall, this is a problem. How can she know about Syntha Hall when Scotty didn't, and Scotty's like further along than she is? This don't make no sense. Yeah, it doesn't. It does not. And uh, when I looked up Syntha Hall, Chris, Everything's a TNG. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, even, yeah. Even no, beta. that was not. Yeah, even that was not mentioned uh, before that. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I know you got your team of researchers on that discovery writing team there, but they're not reading. Okay. <laughs> I will give. I'll give her an out. Yeah. She found out about Cynthia Hall during her year, and just told him it was. No. 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 Okay. Don't accept that. All right. No. Not accepting. It. All right. So, crew beams down to Earth, see uh, Starfleet Academy, mm -hmm. you see a giant tree, and mm -hmm. you know, they had to go hug it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I demand a CGI Boothby. We both said it at the same time, I was just like, get off my grass! Yeah. Where's Boothby? I demand a CGI Boothby. Now give me species 8471 or whatever it is. 2. 8427564, Yeah. There you go, okay. Yeah. Give me that species of Boothby. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, yeah, we pull back and the uh, tree gets a little faker looking. <laughs> faker and we didn't get any earth. What the hell's happened to earth? Yeah, well, it we has a our... bridge. We did see the bridge and it still has and these it, solar panels from Picard. It totally still looks like kind of Starfleet Academy, which, you know, what are you training people to do? Not share? <laughs> no. Be like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna train you to do this, this, and this, but the core principles of Starfleet, fuck that. But, uh, <laughs> well, they're not Starfleet anymore. They're just earth. Yeah. Um, quantum torpedoes are still a thing and are not terribly effective against 900 year old starships. Uh, are you talking about the ones that uh, went through shields? Yes. That's pretty effective. That's, it didn't one hit it. Our shields are at full. Yeah, they were <laughs> full. Gone. And then they got obliterated. Like, they, they should just get uh, 900 years. They should just be getting one shot. Detmere. Like, you breathe on this shit. I, I love, it was, it was a continuation for Detmere. Uh, yeah, she, she's on there, and she's just like, uh, we just fixed the ship, Captain. Lieutenant Dunbar, when Earth opens fire, we will take the hit. Sir? Move us into position, Lieutenant. Wait, we just recovered. We don't know what their torpedoes could do. To shields are at full capacity. She has to follow orders, and then BAM! I'm like, you're a shitty captain, Saru. This yeah. is a stupid decision. I, no, <laughs> this is not... Uh, it's kind of a stupid decision, yes. Um, but I, I didn't think we really followed up with Detmer as much as I would have liked. No, she like, was pretty lot, messed up like, at the end of the last just episode. Just the fact that they even kind of acknowledged like her, be like, uh, what are you talking about? That's stupid? Like, yeah. Just, she doesn't want to go through the trauma again. I guess, you know. I did like Nielsen's getting more wines. Uh, it's a really good move for Sarah Meach to leave uh, the makeup of Arium. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Become a crew member and everything. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah. Next week we get to see that they steal uh, steal a movie night from Enterprise. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they attack a monastery, it looks like. We're doing trill things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they tell Spurnum. Thanks for Thanks. updating us a little bit. Yeah. Couldn't you have gotten to see a Starfleet vessel Burnham car? Half asses everything. Mm hmm. So, what did you think? Um, I don't think I like this one quite as much as the first two. 
Um, I appreciate what it was trying to do, uh, but I think the the problem and solution were just a. L- it, it was it's sort of a, a cute way to flip a usual Star Trek formula, but it was just really, really basic. Apart from that, and oh, Chris, you and I differ so they, much on this episode. You're like a dandelion that just leaves. That was weird. That was also <laughs> weird. Uh, I know T- Tilly's my girl, but I have no idea what she was trying to say. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. I'm like. Ah, uh, yeah, again, Frakes doesn't get to write him. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get to write him. Um, Look, I may not know you, but, like, I know you. <laughs> okay, so, whatever, I love your hair. <laughs> but it was just like, yeah, you blew up our ship one time, and we n- didn't send any communications at any point during this whole thing, so we just, we just decided to start stealing your shit. <laughs> Yeah. And then Earth's like, yeah, we didn't recognize any of the ships that were standard on Titan. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're really close. They're really close. I'm sorry, but like, take an iPhone, throw 300 years on that, throw 900 years on that, zoom in, Titan. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, if these guys, if these guys were like Vulcans or something, or some species that's fairly close to Earth. I think this this would have been a lot better because uh, then it, it could have been like you know during our time your species were allies and you still can be or something like that but it's just like they're, they're close and they didn't say anything to each other we kept the helmets on we just couldn't recognize them yeah they couldn't, they couldn't just message them with their helmet on and be like yo what's up fellow human yeah. how do you do fellow human they should have recognized him from Stargate Atlantis as I did yeah when was cool Oh man, I was expecting a whole who's on first routine and be like, when's on third? Oh my goodness. I was like, it's just like, here's the conflict, fast forward, they're on our ship, you can talk now. Yeah. (laughs) They're the end, you can talk, just talk. Just talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, done. How many, like, how long was this conflict? You know, I want to see Orville, Chris, so badly, and I want them to just be like, you like cupcakes? Here you both go! What? Sure! <laughs> the cupcake shall be divided in two. <laughs> <laughs> like, some brain dead just like, message there. That's what yeah. I want to see. Mm-hmm. The first ship we sent for help to our home planet was fired upon and destroyed. Well, then we knew we were on our own. Yeah, uh, definitely didn't really like this one as much as the other two and yeah I agree I kind of saw what they're trying to go for um I don't know how you like jump back and tell Burnham's like year um but they did in like a two minute like I said a two minute recap right after the recap of the last Mm -hmm. episode just kind of was weird and it didn't recap that much um, I would, I want more about her and book. Yeah, that, that can't be all Burnham learned in that time, right? Like, she didn't learn why his name is Cleveland Booker, Booker or whatever, in a year? <laughs> Did we establish that he's not human? Because Saru yeah. asked if he was from Earth. Not from Earth. Uh, but why would anyone be from Earth when they're that physically far away? So I don't yeah. know if he was asking whether he was from Earth or whether he was human. Yeah. I don't think he's human because of the glowy thing. Yeah, I mean, like, it's implied he's might be. Like, I, I would expect this, that sort of laziness from, like, the original series where half the alien planets were just humans with no makeup. Um, but for Discovery, that's kind of weird. Like, no, he, his race he looks you. human, so he should his, be. His, his race wears cool jackets. Okay, okay, cool jacket race. Yeah. Yeah. Cool jackets and can glow occasionally if you're, one, you know, one of the special ones. Um, yeah, I mean, could go on for another hour about just Booker with his shirt off, but Mm -hmm. I mean, objectifying man, I tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, honestly, I think he's one of the stronger parts of the season already. Oh yeah, he's been great. And I don't want him going off. I know that the episodes already show he's coming back for other episodes, but yeah, um, yeah, no, it's, I liked, oh, I kind of like the dynamic of him and Burnham, I wish, I wish they kind of like were closer, just because there'd be a cooler bond there. And mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, we're just friends. Like once they stated that, it got weird for me. I was just like, well, I mean, you can't have any cool like inside jokes now. Like I'm not seeing that. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a like, 
and yet you change it in front of each other. I just, I don't know, Chris. I, I want him to be a core part of her life and not just, I don't, yeah, I don't. Down the road, they hook up and then something <laughs> evil happens like they did with uh, good old Tyler. I don't particularly mind if they're, if they're dating or not, but, um, yeah, like they kept referencing things from their past. It's like, oh, why don't we try doing this thing? No, you want me to break my nose again or something? It's like, eh, eh, eh. Hey, let's try Orion Tango. Yeah? Come on, Orion Tango is fun. Remember that time with the creature? Feathers. I thought it was scales. Whatever they were, I was digging them out of my hair for days. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, you know, I, I'm trying to deal with the fact that we've lost 900 years of information mm -hmm. and now I'm getting a tiny bit from 901 years. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this was the year you're supposed to fill us in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sure this episode was beautifully directed. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I didn't, like, hate it or anything. Um, it was still pretty good. It's still put together a lot better than I we've been usually getting from Discovery, I think. Um, but I, I just, I, I felt like there were some holes in what was actually going on. Um, it wasn't quite as compelling as the first two. And I thought the, the, just the main problem and, and problem resolution were just way too shallow. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's something that they should be building towards throughout the whole season is like, oh, you don't know what's going on here and you're learning it through the episode. But mm -hmm. I just thought it was chop, 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 chop. But, you know. Get two more Freaks episodes this season. Oh boy, oh boy. So, you know, I'll let you know when that happens. Mm -hmm. Well, as always, thanks for watching.